Jag bara låta det hålla på video. Ja. Okej. Okay. Är det jag parkerar det tjänst? Nej! Jag fick inte in med oss! Five days after surgery, uh, I was seeing my physio for the first time and uh, my manager that has been driving me around everywhere uh, came to pick me up. We were gonna film an interview post-surgery. We did this interview and I was like, okay, I'm done and now I'm just gonna go sleep and just try to recover and Snorri, my manager says like, hey, we have one interview left, we have to finish this also. And I was like, are you joking? Is there more left? And I was like, okay, count to 10, be calm. <laughs> Don't show anything. So he's like, I'm gonna show you this uh, meme first. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I love memes. Is it clear, Stori? I'm gonna just put it on the video. Okay. Sorry, I'm Sarah, of course, just underwent a shock. Even though she puts on a really brave face and uh, smiles a lot and tries to keep a generally cheerful mood. Anyone who really knows her could see that she was both sad and depleted and uh, worried about the situation. So I figured it would be a rough couple of weeks uh, after the surgery for her. So I gathered her friends and uh, sponsors and loads of other people just to help out with generating this video. So I just pressed play and I'm watching it, super happy. And I see my name on the note and I was just like, what? How did you, who? Like, what? <laughs> hey, Sarah, I'm glad your surgery went well. I hope you get well soon. I know you're gonna recover quickly. And then the, and like the, the video starts and I got so emotional. I saw Carrie Pierce was the first one and, and then I knew what the video was about. Hey, Sarah, I'm so happy to hear your operation went well. Uh, I know it can be tough times when you're injured. I'm going for an injury myself and it's, uh, yeah, it can be quite tough, but you've got to stay positive and I know that next year you're going to come back so much stronger and fitter. Sometimes the people at the top or the people who are always giving a part of themselves, they, they don't get the same back. They don't always hear how much they matter to others. So I thought it was just a perfect time for that. Mr. Sermin. Jag har bara att komma in och säga att jag kommer att ge mig Slatan ni bara hemma och det sex månader om skolan. Jag är en kara och gör allt jag kommer att ge dig en timme. Jag kommer att ha det längre steg kvar. Jag kommer att ge dig en timme. 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 Jag kommer att ge dig Búin að vera að gera allt sem getur, svo þið búin að gera neitt og hart ekki einhvern að gera neitt. Ég held að það er hinsæðar eftir að vera mjög gott á að setja ekki að gera neitt í smá tíma. She's not the person that, that, that cries a lot. That's, uh, that's not what she does. If she's frustrated, she just goes and trains it out of the system. But who is going to get through something like this without shedding a few tears? Hey, Sarah. What's up, Sarah? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey there, Sarah. And the Mike Miley from the Bible Times. Hi. Ragas. Hi, Nama. Small barato, quacking a skill of both. You like about a till a cell that was coming after he filled form with Tilly Slam. Hey, Sarah. I hope you are doing well uh, and you have the best and fastest <laughs> recovery <laughs> ever. Get well, recover, come back stronger than ever. And I'm just wishing you a little bit of love, sending some from Max as well. Max, tell Sarah you love her. Hvað kveður frá Katar? Ég veit hvernig þið líður. Sýti á raskatinu og með ekki gera neitt. Hi Sarah. Oh my god! I heard about the bad news. I just want to wish you all the best. Good luck in this whole rehab. Get stronger. I believe in that as well. I'm obviously also busy with my recovery. And it's a tough road, but you'll be, uh, you'll be strong enough to do this. Good luck with the rehab. Hopefully everything goes well. And speak to you soon. Oh my God. Hey, Sarah. It's Mufasa here. 
I'm sorry to hear about your injury, and I'm wishing you a very, very, very safe recovery. And I know one thing is for sure, you will bounce back. But one thing I have to say is, you know what today is, right? It's Friday. It's Friday, <laughs> then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday, then. It's Friday, Sunday. What? It's Friday, Sunday. It's Friday, Sunday. It's Friday, Sunday. It's Friday, Sunday. You start hesitating of like, what if I never come back? What if it gets ruptured again and I have to go through everything again? And it was just like, I was just making up stories in my head. And, and when I watched the videos and I saw the messages and what people think of me, I, it gave me a boost of like, wow, they really believe that I can do this. And it gave me like this fire inside me of like, oh, they believe in me, I believe in myself. Like, there's a reason why they're saying these things about me. It's like, I am going to come back. How are you after all? Thank you. I have a week of post up, and I have a share of my own. And not a penny with a Saturday, of milestone. And I have a lot of work. And sitting in the ski, I have a level of fear and near person. I have a lot of this. 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 I have a Less, you feel strange, Krishna. Little 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 that's how it is. That's the recovery road, up and down. Look at this though. That's the reason why I love crutches. Wow. It has now been six days since I got my freedom back. I was not allowed to drive for two weeks after surgery because it was my right knee. So I have been like a wart on everybody. Like like stuck on people like hey can you drive me there hey can you bring this for me hey please pick me up <laughs> so i've been calling myself a ward for the last uh, two weeks but not anymore now i can drive myself and i can get my meditation from music while i'm driving and everything fantastic before the surgery i was like i'm gonna practice driving with my left foot and uh, <laughs> like <laughs> I was like pushing the brake with the left foot and I, and I felt like I was going super soft <laughs> like, like this. So, and that happened like four times, but like I was in a, on a road that like nobody is. It's like an old uh, airport. It was just this one road where nobody was. So I was, I was trying it out there and I'm thankful I tried it out before surgery because it would have ended badly if I had the self-esteem beforehand and would have just driven on with my left foot. So you went to an empty road to practice driving with, <laughs> with my left foot. leg, yes. Uh, a car is too powerful. It, uh, as soon as I took off, it spilled. <laughs> but this is a problem that I will deal with later. Welcome to my office. Uh, this is Parkland DLF and this is where I have spent my time. I've been showing up here from 8 to 4 every day and studying and playing pool and darts and <laughs> learning guitar. To not think about uh, four months ahead of time and that I can't snatch and everything like that. I made these goals like, for example, I'm on the third week now so I've started phase three but I just finished phase two and I reached all the goals there and the goals are like being able to drive. <laughs> Move kneecap. It's not 100 kilo snatch, but it's uh, 
the things that I have to do now and get rid of these freaking crutches but now I have them just in case and for my headbands very nice so one of the main things that I've been uh, working on in the office is my clothing line and I just received uh, a new delivery of some of my products and with my logo and I'm actually wearing uh, one of the products because I love them so much so the logo is just um, pretty plain I just chose uh, my favorite font and we just it's just my last name maybe we'll update it later on but this is just good to start with to have it simple one of my favorite parts from this delivery was uh, my bikini can't believe I own my own bikini like on these notes here it's just like comments from them so they Charlotte and Steph send me the products after they have tested them out and uh, like these are fitting too small so we're adding waist two centimeters total hip third three centimeters thigh three centimeters we're also fixing the rise because it gives <laughs> camel toe <laughs> uh, what I usually do is when I get the products and what I have been doing before surgery was uh, testing the products out when I'm training so like uh, for example, uh, I know it's a bikini top, but you can use it as a sports bra also like I did a workout in this one just to see how it feels and I was like, oh the band here is is too uh, tight So I want to change this into something else tomorrow morning I'm actually super excited for this is I have a meeting with uh, the designer Charlotte and Steph they already have some of the products and uh, She's gonna test them in front of me, and I think it's the right colors and everything so Super excited for that meeting because then I can see exactly how everything is going to look like. So it's going to be super exciting. I like your okay. top, Charlotte. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> really good. Um, I was just going to say, so the samples that we've received now are kind of a move on from the ones that we sent you. So we just need to make any final tweaks and we can incorporate your comments from the last samples yeah. as well yeah. into that. Yeah. So yeah, just crack on, I guess. Yeah.